Hey everybody, uh, this is a video about the Flycam Nano. I hope you guys can help me out with something. Um, I bought the Flycam Nano about five days ago, and since I bought it, I've spent about four hours a night working on it, trying to get the balance right, and uh, five days times four hours a night is 20 hours, and I'm just about ready to throw it through a window. Um, let me tell you guys kind of what I'm working with here so you can understand where I'm at. The camera is a Canon T3i. Um, I've got the lens where I want it. I don't want the lens swung out or anything like that. Uh, the lens, or pardon me, that was about the screen. The lens itself is a 16 by 35 um, ultra wide. Um, memory card is inside. I've got a quick connect plate. I've got three washers actually under the quick connect plate, uh, raising it up a little bit. And the reason why is because this side of the quick connect plate has um, an area that kind of dips down a little bit and um, if I didn't have the washers there that would be sitting on the cheese plate and the whole quick connect plate would be up like that instead of being level so I've got three washers there just to raise it up um, other than that we're good so like I said I've I've spent about 20 hours on this and that's not a joke that's not an exaggeration I've also watched every video I can find online about the Flycam Nano and uh, about balancing it and I've I've taken the time to be very meticulous with my screws and very meticulous under here and screwing things back in very meticulously and and just minimal raisings and lowerings of the post and and uh, all that kind of stuff and it's just it's driving me crazy let me show you what the issue is if I just pick up the device up to do do just like that looks pretty good looks pretty balanced um, everything's good now the whole point of the device is that you will want to be able to move with the device having said that I've seen a lot of videos online where people take their device and they bring it in and out like this and they go back and forth like this and you know if they're doing it in front of a mirror to show the device they come back to the mirror and they're pretty close to dead center. They're, they may be off a little bit this way or a little bit this way. They may be off this way a little bit or a little bit this way. But they're pretty close to center. Let me show you what happens with mine. Pick it up. And we'll just move it back and forth a little bit. Not going too hard at all, but of course we've we've already turned significantly. Um, no pendulum effect. I mean, I've I've definitely got that balance, so that's great. But the camera, as you can see, when I'm doing this, it has pretty much rotated 180 degrees, um, even more actually. Um, 20 hours has been spent working on the balancing of this. I'm now at a loss. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Clearly I'm the idiot. I get that. I acknowledge that completely. My cat knows it. My wife and my and my kids upstairs sleeping know it. I know it. You know it. But because I'm an idiot, I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, let me tell you a couple other quick things. First of all, I bought this on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah I did. I bought it used. Maybe that's where the issue stems from. But more interestingly, um, when I spin the device, I can actually feel the gimbal I don't know what the right word is. Maybe the word is bumping or ticking or something. Um, there's just a little shimmy that's happening every now and then as if someone's just tapping my hand, but from the inside. Um, now it doesn't happen uniformly. Like for example, the lens is now facing me. It doesn't happen now, 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 now. It's, it's not like that, so it's not something that's specifically 
blocking it inside. It's completely a random kind of a thing um, that I just don't understand. So, uh, I don't know what to do. Like I said, I've tried everything. I've been meticulous as far as balancing the, the plate back and forth and side to side. Um, I've played with this post, putting it everywhere that I can. Um, you know, taking some of the weights off the bottom and raising it up uh, to to change that center of gravity or, I mean, doing a lot of different things. And again, you know, here's the other thing is that now that I've done the balancing or now that I've done the, the testing or the, the, the movement, you can see I'm now off balance. I am now significantly lilted off to the right hand side. Um, when I used to pick it up, the first couple of times I picked it up, I didn't have this going on. And now I'm off balance. And that simply came from moving the camera. And this is not, this is not out of the realm of movement here. I'm not, I don't think I'm being abusive with this. Um, I don't think I'm being abusive with this. But now, like I said, after having done all of that, there's the camera back to where it was when I started. Now, when I pick up the camera, I'm off. You can see that is definitely not, not right. And it was before. So, uh, oh, and by the way, these are tight. I mean, I'm, I'm tight. I'm, I'm in there. I'm solid. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, any advice you have would be helpful. Um, I live in the Los Angeles area, so if you were an awesome person, as I think you might be, and you live in the Los Angeles area and you know what you're doing and you're not an idiot, uh, I'd be more than happy to buy you lunch if you'd help me out with this thing. And I mean that seriously, because I'm at a dead freaking loss as to what to do. Um, as again, I've seen every video. I know the device works. I know it'll work great for what I want it to do, but I'm at a loss. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <clears throat> so there you go. Um, any replies to this that you can uh, that you can give me would be awesome and greatly appreciated. And uh, that's it. Thanks for your time. Please help. No money. You don't have to send money. You don't have to flame me. I know I'm an idiot. Just help me find my balance. And don't send me any books about yoga based on that last comment, by the way. I don't need smart asses. I need people who know how to use a freaking fly cam.